Welcome back to another Practice Better Hack video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use integrations to easily share documents with your clients. So did you know that Practice Better has an integration with both Dropbox and Google Drive? Well, this is great because it allows you to easily import files from your Dropbox or Google Drive account as well as allows you to resync these documents anytime if you make updates to them in your cloud service. It helps really save you time as you don't have to then download the document from your cloud service and re-upload it into Practice Better. Instead, you can simply import it right into Practice Better using this integration. This is also a great hack if you have certain handouts or guides or any documents which you consistently update, say, in Google Drive. And um, this is great because you won't actually have to re-upload them every time. So you can just simply resync them right and practice better. Clients will never have direct access to your Dropbox or Google Drive folders, and they can only see the documents that you have imported and set up to be shared specifically with them. So just wanted to mention that as well. So to set up this integration, we'll head to the gear icon at the top right and third-party integration. And it's just under this first section here, um, document management and sharing. You can see that you have the opportunity to link both Dropbox and Google Drive. So I have Google Drive already linked um, to my account. And if you want to link it for the first time, you'll simply just click link and a pop-up window will invite you to log into that uh, platform. And then it will be linked to practice better. The next step is to actually head to your documents folder. So my practice documents. And here you'll see at the bottom left, both Dropbox and Google Drive. So I've got Google Drive linked, so I'm gonna click there. And you'll see I have a couple of documents here in my Google Drive folder. Um, this would just populate all of your Google Drive documents. If you had many folders and subfolders and so on, you would be able to just access them right here. And what you're going to do as the first step is just navigate to the document that you want to import into Practice Better. So let's say I want to import this guide to balancing your blood sugar. I'll simply hover over that document and click import into my documents. And here we have a couple options. So you can choose to import this document as a different file type if you'd like. So there's a couple options there. You can allow the document to live in just the destination folder, which is your home documents folder, or you can change that folder. So let's say in this case, I have created a subfolder for handouts and guides specifically, which I have here, and I want to import that document into that folder. So I'm gonna select that folder and that will change the destination folder here. And then the last option we have is to actually share this file with clients right away. Um, so we can do this now as we're importing it or we can do it later, um, but I'll show you how you can just easily do so now. So I'm gonna select my client here and just a note that file sharing is only available for clients who have access to the client portal. So any clients with access to the portal will show up in a list here. I just have one in my demo account. So that's it, and we're gonna go import here. And this is just a prompt to let us know that this file is going to be copied into our documents and then shared with clients. And just reminding us again that clients never have access to our Dropbox or Google Drive files unless we share them specifically, okay? So we'll just go continue there. And the file transfer is now complete and it has redirected me right to the handouts and guides folder, which I chose to save that document in. And you'll see it right here, guide to balancing your blood sugar. So you'll notice a couple icons next to this document. So this is um, letting me know that the document has been shared and letting me know that I can resync this file from Google Drive. So if I just scroll over here, I just wanna go through each of these options so you can see what's available once you import your document from your cloud service. So you can view the document, you can download it, you can edit, and this will allow you to change the file type and sort of take us back to that page we were already on. You can also manage your sharing settings. So I wanted to open that here. So if you hadn't already shared the document with your client as you were importing it, you could do so here. 
Um, but you also have the option to change the file sharing settings. So you could choose to share it with all clients or make that private. So you have those op options available to you. Um, and then this next option here, this is the resync option. So this is really great because um, resync documents will automatically update the file for all of your clients who you have shared it with and practice better. So let's say with this blood sugar balancing guide, you were in Google Drive um, where it's located, making some updates to it. And, you know, you want those updates to populate in practice better and, and you know, be updated with everyone you've shared this document with and practice better. So all you'd need to do is just hit resync. And this is just asking us to confirm we want to update the contents of this file with the latest version from Google Drive. And we'll just go resync. And that will update. So, you know, anyone we've shared that with will then have that update um, on that document. So I'm just going to head back into our folder here. And that's really great because, again, it saves you time from having to say, okay, you know, I made some updates to this guide. Now I need to download it, re upload it, reshare it, all of that. You don't have to do any of those steps. You just simply update it in Google Drive and come in and resync it right here. Um, so just makes that a lot um, more streamlined and just saves you a lot of time. The next option here is to move the file. So if you did want to move where it is located, you could do so here. Again, right now it's in this handouts and guides folder, but we could go back and we could select a different folder if we wanted to move it. And then lastly, you can delete it. So you have a lot of different options with your imported file. Um, that will look very similar to if you, you know, uploaded a file directly from your computer, um, but the resync option would be unique um, with the cloud services. So with Dropbox or Google Drive, just allowing you to resync it right from, from those services. So I think that's about it. I hope that was helpful in showing you how easy it is to share documents with clients using Google Drive and Dropbox and you know, really utilizing this integration to save you time. Let us know below if you have any questions and how you plan to use this hack.